I'm losing it. I'm losing it. 31 more cards. 31. I need to complete this set. I don't know what else to do. I got an idea. Booster packs. We've been getting great pulls, right? Bought a whole bunch from GameStop. They must have great pulls. I need better luck. Got some Target. 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 Target's been treating us good. Target's been treating us good. I feel like there's one more thing. Dollar Tree. Or Family Dollar in this case. But is this enough? I'll be right back. There we go. Two family dollar boxes. Mm, give me one more second. Bamses. Three family dollar 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 packs <laughs> from family dollar. If you're wondering how many are in here, there's a hundred. But anyways, guys, welcome back. My name is Blue Polo Guy. Thank you for joining me today on this channel. As you can see, we are going to go a bit, I would say, some people would say overboard. I would think just taking precautions. Just to be sure, we pull the cards we're missing. Just 31 more cards to complete the set, guys. Okay. I'm going to start... With the Dollar Tree packs, because there's 180 of these packs. So let's just jump into it. I was fortunate enough to find these at Family Dollar. And yeah, I just bought them all. Ooh, starting off with a reverse Claydol. I do think we need that. So let me set that aside. And you guys, thank you for joining me today. And taking some time out of your busy schedules. Come watch me out of all people you came and chose to watch me and i really appreciate that let me know how your day is going down in the comments below but i just thought this would be a very fun way to try to complete the set i i went all out i went all out and if this doesn't do the trick then i don't know what else to do there's only one more thing in my head that i could think of and if we don't pull all the cards, I'm going to do it. But anyways, I'll reveal that at the end of the channel. Or at the end of the channel. At the end of the video, once we're done. So, for those who don't know what it are inside dollar packs, whether you get them from Family Dollar, Dollar General, Dollar Tree, they're all worth a dollar wherever you get them. Plus tax, of course. And in these Dollar Tree or dollar packs, you're only... They only give you three cards, and you're not guaranteed a rare, you're not guaranteed a reverse, you're not guaranteed an ultra rare, or anything like that. What you are guaranteed is to pull at least anything from that set. And right now, we are trying to pull hyper rares, full arts, gold cards, and yes, ultra rares, and two regular rares, non hollows. Awesome. The two cards we are missing, guys are that our regular rares are Roserade and Ninetales. I've opened 140 plus packs and I still haven't pulled those two common rares, which is crazy just thinking about it. Like my last two videos ago, I just barely pulled an uncommon I was missing. And now I'm just pulling it left and right like it's nothing. But yeah, let me just get into these $180 Dollar Tree packs and hopefully, hopefully we could complete the set. Sad, sad Sobble. Now if you do care about conditioner cards, I recommend opening these very carefully because again, there are only three cards in these packs. So bending them and everything could be a possibility. Now I'm really hoping is that these packs won't what uh English, I could speak it. These packs weren't weighed and I just wasted $180 on Pokemon packs that were weighed. 
Sincino. That is a rare. Next pack. Salazzle. Metalcore Barrier. Ooh, our first hollow is a Cinderace. Very nice. Let me get my sleeves over here. Oh, Dollar Tree Packs everywhere. Dollar Tree Packs. Why do I keep... You know what? We're just calling them Dollar Tree Packs for now on. All right, and we just sleeve that up. Very nice. Set that aside right over there. Let me just grab a whole bunch of these. Speed this up. All righty. Now that I have a pile... I can go a bit faster. I'm just trying to rush through these guys. Right on, my little Ponita. Because, again, there's 180 of these packs. And plus, I do have the individual blister packs that I had to get through as well on top of that. So hopefully I could get through all of this. And if you guys stick around throughout the whole video, thank you. That really means a lot to me. <laughs> I'm... Surprised you guys are that interested in watching me open so many Pokemon packs. I don't know if you're staying because of Pokemon or if you want to see me pull something else. Or just me. Probably not me. But, nevertheless, whatever reason you're staying, thank you. How's your guys' days going? Today, I went to a yard sale place with my older sister. And, ooh, Gengar, hollow rare very nice but anyways i went to a yard sale place with my older sister and we went shopping well she went shopping i went sightseeing because there really wasn't anything there that i liked pokemon related anyways so i was watching looking around and as we pulled into the parking lot i was on pokemon go obviously i always am and i was just clicking on random pokemon i click on a growlith and and the Growlithe turned out to be a shiny. And I was like stunned for words. The day before that, yesterday to be exact, I'm recording this Thursday night. So on the, I think Thursday is the 13th. Don't quote me on that. But it could be the 12th. I'm not 100% sure. Let me think. I'm doing math in my head right now. 12th. Thursday is the 12th. Because tomorrow is Friday the 13th. And that's when this video will go up. But anyways. So we pulled in. I clicked on Growlithe. I clicked on her Growlithe as well. I was playing for her while she was driving. Her Growlithe was a regular Growlithe. And my Growlithe turned out to be a shiny Growlithe. And I was like stunned for words. So that was my third shiny Growlithe. And... The day before, Wednesday, I was walking to TJ Maxx because we were at some a small like plaza area. And there was a TJ Maxx there. My sister went ahead. I went to go put stuff away in the car because we only had a stroller, my niece's stroller, to carry stuff around. So I carried the stuff to the car and I put it in. And on my way to TJ Maxx, I was walking through the parking lot not the sidewalk and I clicked on a um, macchiata and it turned out to be shiny and I was so excited because I was missing that shiny I didn't have that one and I was able to add it to my collection it was very exciting but let me know how you guys are doing whether if you play Pokemon Go if you play the games or if you just play the card game or if you're just collecting like I am let me know what you pulled what you've caught or what you're currently playing i'd love to know down in the comments and if you have any suggestions for future videos also leave that down in the comments as well and if you don't mind maybe leaving a like it wouldn't hurt can we get let's say three likes for this video that'd be really great guys thank you i i would appreciate that that would mean the world to me aurora energy and that is a sizzlipede also, guys, how's your day going? My day obviously went pretty well from start to beginning. Even with this disease going around, I'm not honestly worried about it because statistically, I said that correctly, you are not likely to catch the coronavirus, let alone die from it. Of course, there's vaccines to combat the virus or the disease, but... 
there is no current cure for it. For it? For it, I can speak English. But nevertheless, there are more people recovering. There's more than half of the people that have caught the disease that have already recovered from it. And very few people have died from it. Nevertheless, it is a sad thing to see people die from the disease. I myself, I live in America. And currently, the number state that... I don't know how many are affected, but out of the people that have been infected, only 20 have died. But yet, people are going crazy in my state alone, in my city alone. I have went to a store today just to go regular grocery shopping and look for Pokemon cards. As you could tell, I bought these today, by the way. And people were just going crazy. There was lines upon lines in the store. And just thinking all this panic for something that you have more chance. You have a 30% higher chance of winning the lottery than you do actually catching disease. Not dying by it, but catching it. If you take the statistics from, let's say, Britain, for example, if you live in the UK... In the UK, there's a 0.0003% chance of you actually catching the disease. And that is a very small percentage. You're more likely to die. You're 10 times more likely to die by another person shooting you or however they may kill you than dying from the coronavirus itself. So what I'm trying to say is if you're one of those that are worried about the disease and what the news is saying, don't worry. You're going to be fine. Everything's going to be fine. Everyone's just overreacting like they always do. And for me, it wow, this is very miscut. <laughs> Look at that. That is horribly... Ooh, Lapras V miscut. Oh my god goodness look at that look at the top of that thing wow that is horribly miscut and a blip bug and a, bi a big charm these cards are fine but this lapras oh my goodness i'm gonna sleeve this up i'm going to sleeve this up and i think i know who i'm going to give that to <laughs> i have a very strong idea <laughs> if you know someone who likes miscut cards like that then you know who I'm talking about but if you don't well I'll let you know who in the end of the video but anyways guys as, as I was saying going back to the topic just don't worry about it like my family is panicking over this disease they don't want to send my nephew to school they don't want to even go out I'm over here going out being perfectly fine and people are just going crazy buying all this disinfecting stuff, hand sanitizer, and um, toilet paper, food supplies. Everything's going off the shelves like fast. The stock market closed on top of that because people are just panicking. People shouldn't panic over small things like this. We've been through worse. The world has been through worse. This isn't the worst thing we've been through. But yet... Yeah, they still make a big deal out of it. And I'm sorry if you disagree with me. And I probably don't know all the facts. But what I do know is. I'm not going to make a big deal out of it. Like I'm trying to help my family. The best way I can. And right now. They want to protect themselves against the virus. So I'm trying to find stuff to. Ooh. Cramorant V. Very nice card. Anyways, let me just leave that up real quick. But yeah, I'm trying to find stuff to help them protect themselves from the virus, whether it be getting Clorox wipes, just simple things like water. Water is becoming very scarce in stores as well because, again, people overreact. Um, and hand sanitizer. I can't even find one bottle of hand sanitizer. And the two ounce, two ounces, guys. A two-ounce bottle of a hand sanitizer on eBay right now is going for 
$30 on average. This is how ridiculous it is. And it just bothers me so much. Luckily for me, I had supplies of hand sanitizer that I've acquired during my time in the military, thankfully, and I've actually kept it. There are other supplies I've kept with me after I left the military, thankfully, that I could use for, to help myself and my family in any way possible. So I was grateful that I kept that and I gave it to them because I feel like they need it more than I do, obviously, because I'm not worried about it. Now, mind you, I am a very hygienic person. If anyone coughs or sneezes in near or my direction, I do get concerned and I do uh, worry because germs do bother me. I am a very clean person or at least try to be. And when someone sneezes or coughs without them covering themselves, I don't consider this covering yourself. I consider like you actually like, you know, covering yourself i consider that covering yourself but yeah that's just me i guess but i always wash my hands after i finish shopping coming back home even using the restroom everywhere i go i wash my hands afterwards no matter what it be like right now i'm opening these pokemon cards and these boxes, once I'm done with this video, I'm gonna go wash my hands. Even though I own this stuff now and no one else is touching it, people have touched this stuff before, so I'm gonna wash my hands. Now I'm not gonna go crazy and disinfect everything in my room. I'm not like a psychopath, but I try to keep a very rounded, healthy way of life. And that's how I usually stay in a healthy how could I put it a healthy let's just say healthy shape I try not to get sick as often I don't like getting sick wow they really look at that wacky you guys can see that they literally staple the top they pressed the package on the top of that card. That is going to the side as another error card. Wow. That is the second card out of all these packs. And we're almost through the first box. So thankfully, that's going by pretty fast. And so far, we have four pulls. Not bad. Now, nothing crazy yet. I did mix up all these cards because I was counting them at the store. So, hopefully there's better pulls in the other packs, maybe? But at least I know these packs weren't waived. Because, obviously, I am getting pulls. There are some ultra rares that I would like to pull as well that I'm still missing. Celebi being one. Um, what was that other one? The Helium, I think his name was. I need more Peko V Max. I need Lapras V Max. I need Torkoal V, In In D D V. Who else do I need? I need uh Victini. I need Victini V. And I think those are all the V cards I need. Whoa, let's go, bead, full art, yes, that's one I'm missing for the binder, so we did get a new pool, <laughs> wow, it's off center, but I don't care, this is going in the binder, wow, full art bead, I'm so excited about that, yes, <laughs> Uh, okay, let me get back into this. Thwacky. Whoa. Back to back ultra rares. Stone Joner V. I already have this one, but nevertheless, it's a beautiful, beautiful artwork. I just love how Stone Joner turned out. He looks amazing. Um, 
I think my favorite V card either has to be the Snorlax V or Torkoal, because I do like Torkoal. I feel like Torkoal is a very underrated Pokemon. Okay, that was my last pack for the first box. But anyways, as I was saying, I feel Torkoal is a very underrated Pokemon. And I'm glad they gave him a V card and a full art card. I wish they gave him a Hyper Rare in this set, but beggars can't be choosers, so I'm happy for what we got. I also bought some Lost Thunder and uh, Celestial Storm dollar packs. So I'm not going to open those today, but I will set those aside for a different video. Foreshadowing. Hmm. Anyways, let me not ever do that again. You guys are probably be like this weirdo. Snub. I don't know what that was. Pokey Kid and a Pinchern. Let me get into some of these packs. I know you guys are like waiting for me like open the other packs. You're probably yelling at it, screaming it in your head. Here you go, guys. You're welcome. One, two, three, four. You actually do deserve that. You guys are awesome. And then just come and stop and buy to watch me. You guys deserve all the code cards that I could provide for you. Durant, regular rare. Awesome sauce. I am organizing this as best as I could. Obviously, at the end of this, I'm going to have a lot of packs. <sighs> a lot of packs. No, I won't. I opened all of them. I'm going to have a lot of cards. One, two, three, four. Guess the energy, water. Because I didn't do it. For the first pack. Hoot Hoot, Score Bunny, Pikachu. Reverse is a Pokey Catcher. And the rare, Drampa. I haven't seen very much of him, actually. Drampa is not a regular rare I run into very often. Surprising Leap. Let's get into this next one. Code card for you lovely, lovely people. Let's go with fire, because fire was the last one. Psychic. Very nice. Uh, blip bug, blip bug, Rhyhorn, Clavopus, Reverse. Ooh, Team Yelp Grunts. If I could get that in a full art. Oh. If I could get that in a full art, that'd be amazing. Or a hyper rare. I really want a hyper rare or full art Team Yelp Grunts. I am missing those two cards for the binder. That would be incredible. Another full art I'm after, obviously, Torkoal full art. And what other full arts do I want? Zacian and Zamazenta. Those two full arts would be amazing. I'm probably missing some other ones, but off the top of my head, those are the ones I remember. Drampa. As soon as I said he's a very hard rare. Two back to back. Well, not back to back, but very close to each other. For hyper rares, I would like um I would like Professor's Research Hyper Rare, Team Yelp Grunts Hyper Rare, and I think those are the only hyper rares I really want. I wouldn't mind getting, I guess, a more Peko Hyper Rare because I don't have that yet. But anyways, let's say Dark Water. Okay. Big Charm, Big Hammer, Rhyhorn, Cincino, Chinchow, Glaring Meowth. The reverse is a Sandaconda. Lapras, regular rare. Again, if I could get a Ninetales or a Roserade, that would be great. Let's jump into the Dollar Tree packs again, guys. And then for gold cards, I would like that Quick Ball and the Zamazenta gold because I'm missing both of those. I'm missing other gold cards as well, like Ordinary Rod. Ordinary Rod would be an amazing gold card if I could pull it. And then I'm also missing Metal Saucer. I think those are the only gold cards I'm missing because I do have the Air Balloon and I do have Golden Zacian. I'm probably missing another gold card and you guys are probably gonna yell at me down in the comments. But, ooh, Snorlax V, speaking of a good card, one of my favorite artworks in this set, Snorlax V. Let's set that aside. But that's okay. 
Hey you guys, let me know how your day is going. Is your day going good, bad? How are you guys dealing with this current situation around the world? This virus, for example. Or if you're just dealing with personal issues, just know that everything will get better. Tomorrow's a new day for you to wake up and take on the world in the best way you can. It only gets better on out from here. Just find something you love doing, stick to it, and try to motivate yourself in any way you can. Like, I wake up every day and I don't want to get out of bed. Pretty sure everyone doesn't want to get out of bed. But we have to survive and live because everything is not given to us. So I just keep telling myself just this pack was open. Okay, hopefully nothing is wrong with this pack. Okay, we got a reverse. But just keep telling yourself that... There's a reason. There's a reason to keep going. There's a reason for you to get up, keep moving forward, and... Oh! <laughs> I am so sorry, guys. <laughs> Snorlax V Full Art. We already have this bit. It is a beautiful, beautiful Full Art. Oh my god. That's one of the first Full Arts I've ever pulled on this channel. And I'm so happy I got another one. It is a beautiful car. But anyways, guys, as I was saying, I'm so sorry for that. Just keep moving forward. Tomorrow will be a better day. I promise. And if you're having troubles, find someone to talk to. Like, there are people that are willing to listen to you. Roserade! Yes! We got Roserade! I'm so sorry for that again, but we got Roserade. That's another one we needed, regular rare. Yes. But anyways, there is someone out there that cares. There is someone in this world that cares, that is willing to listen to you no matter what. Ooh, Sable IV. I am so sorry this is happening right now. We're getting amazing pulls, and I'm trying to have a serious conversation with you guys. Let me just set that aside. There's someone willing to listen to you. There's someone out there that cares. I know it feels like there's not, but there is. I promise you. Like, sometimes it feel like, it feel like, it feels like there's not, but there is. There is someone. Trust me. But that's enough about me rambling on about that. Let's get back to the real reason right here. I'm pulling ultra rares. Pulling Hyper Rares, Pulling Full Arts, Pulling Cold Zamazenta. Well, worth a try. Next pack. I'm sorry guys, I got tired of leaning forward, so I just started leaning on the ground. Woo we still have a whole nother box. I just realized this. I think I might have made a grave error just throwing, throwing, going through all this at once. But I am going to stick through this. And if you guys stick through this, you guys are awesome. Thank you. Let me know if you stayed all the way up to this point. Let's say, leave down in the comments. What should we say? That I know you guys stayed this far in the video. Hashtag miscut. Because we did pull that miscut Lapras. So let's just say hashtag miscut Lapras. Why not, right? That's our way of communicating to each other, I guess. Let me know that you actually cared to watch my video all the way through this. And again, I really appreciate you guys. You guys are awesome. Thank you for even subscribing to watch me. It means a lot. More than you guys could ever know. Trust me. Surprisingly, looking at the st statistics, again, that big word that I stutter very much on. I'm not good with big words, especially with S's. S's are my nightmare. Anyways, even though my name starts with an S. 
What was I saying? Statistics. The statistics say that 89% of you guys are not subscribed. But that's okay. I'm just happy you guys come watch me every day for whatever reason. If you're just here for the code cards, well, you can have them. Of course, be generous and leave some for others because there are other people that do want the code cards as well. Um, be courteous to others. Just be all in all a respectful person to everyone, no matter how bad they talk to you. I feel like being kind is always better than being rude back to someone else. Another reverse Gengar. Wow. That is our second reverse Gengar. But yeah, I always feel like being kind to other people is better than just being rude. Two wrongs don't make a right in my eyes. So I always try to be as kind as possible, as polite as possible. I feel like manners take you a long way in the way you talk to someone. And like present yourself is something that um, sets the mood, the tone, the setting for how that whole conversation is going to turn out. Of course, don't let like anyone run over you. I wouldn't say that. Like if something turns out physical, I do recommend if you're not able to get away, then uh, self-defense is a highly required thing for you to have or at least know and if self-defense isn't a possibility and if someone's if you see someone that is, isn't able to defend themselves step in like and if you can't step in find someone that can or call the authorities I think that's the best thing to do helping someone is the best thing to do because one thing could lead into another. Hashtag Grookie Gang. And yeah. One positive action leads into another. Whether that be you doing the other. Or if that same person that received that positive influence from you. Passes that on to someone else. In any ways... I feel like the world is negative enough. I just don't want to add on to that anymore. So that's why I try to be positive and polite. Uplifting. Ball toy. Energy. Chin chow. Back to Pokemon cards, guys. Are you guys opening Sword and Shield right now? Or do you just like watching me or people open sword and shield hashtag grookie gang what set are you opening what set do you want to complete obviously i'm trying to complete sword and shield so it would be awesome if i could complete it in this video or if not like again i will go on to the next and i think final step that final leap for me yes 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 <laughs> let's go <laughs> wabafet full art oh my gosh look at that wabafet full art amazing amazing card that is another one we needed for the binder oh, i can't tell you how excited i am but I need to calm down because there's people sleeping in the house. I don't live alone, guys. I live with my family, like I said. So, but this is my room. That's my stuff. That is my drink up there that I will be drinking after this because I will be very thirsty. And on top of that, that thing floating right there is a poster. And then on top of that is the giant... Shiny Rayquaza. That is not a Rayquaza. That is a Sableye V. But anyways, that is the giant full art Shiny Rayquaza card that I showed you guys in the one video from the Premiums Collector Box, the Hidden Face Premium Collector Box, the European Box. 
And if you haven't seen that video, please go check it out after this one. I think you might like it. Hashtag Grookie If you ain't part of Grookie Gang, what are you representing? Score Bunny? I thought there would be a Sabo in there. I'll do Sabo when I find it. Silly Cobra. Flip bug, flip bug. Hashtag. Oh, that's not Grookie. That's actually Thwacky with no neck. Oh, that was a big glare. I do apologize for that. Okay, we are coming up to the last two packs for this second box. Energy. Score Bunny. I guess Sabo doesn't want to show himself. Maybe this last pack he'll show himself. Since the Himalaya, My Little Ponita shows herself instead. But, nevertheless, let's get into more of these single blister packs, guys. Let's see if we can pull something incredible out of here. Now, earlier I did pull a full art Cramorant V out of one of these packs. I did not record that bit. Nevertheless, it was amazing. I have been... I dropped some minifigures. I got to fix that later. I have been opening packs off camera, guys, and I do apologize for that. But the binder is coming along very. Yes. I don't need this. It is a very nice pull. I don't know why. <laughs> what am I saying? I am excited about this. I'm very excited that we pulled a Wabafat. Wabafat. Wabafet V. I need to speak correctly. But anyways, guys, I have been opening packs off camera, hoping to complete the set. And I have been buying stuff to open for future videos that I think you guys will like. Fire Energy, Kingler, Rhydon, Big Charm, Snob, Hashtag Grookie Gang, Shelder, Wawa, My Little Ponita, Verse is a Bisharp, and the Rare, Mudsdale. Non-holographic. Again, the last non-holographic we need is that Ninetales. I'm really hoping we could pull it. We pulled Roserade, but that was out of a Dollar Tree pack. And I am very happy about that. I get excited over cards I'm missing, and a regular rare was one of them, surprisingly. Galarian Linoom. Silly Cobra. Blip Bug, Blip Bug. Scorpy, Reverse Gossip Floor, and the rare. Another hollow Gengar. Very nice pull. Let me sleeve that up real quick. Boop. And set that aside. Let's get into like three more packs and then go back to the Darcy packs. Because we have 60 more packs to go through. Because three boxes, 60 packs each, equals 180. Quick math, guys. You're welcome. Math was my favorite subject in school. Like always, growing up, I excelled in math. And I love the math. It just came easily to me. As soon as this equation was represent. Oh, it. Uh, words. Words. Use them. Use them. Oh, stop throwing this card around. Lapras. Lapras. VMAX, why am I posed like this? I don't know. My legs are actually starting to hurt from sitting like this. Lapras, VMAX, Full Art. That is one we were missing. Yes. Now we just need the Full Art and then we pulled every form of Lapras for this set. Wow. That was incredible. Let's get into the next pack. What was I talking about? Math, math, math. I was talking about math. Anyway, yes, I excelled in math. Every time an equation was presented to me in my mathematics class, whether it be geometry, chem chemistry, they did have math, surprisingly. Uh, physics, I loved physics because it combined both math and science together. And those are two of my favorite subjects as well as world history. History itself 
is one of my favorite subjects. Uh, what else? Yeah, algebra, geometry, all that fun stuff. As soon as they presented a equation to me and showed me how to plug in the numbers into the equation, I was able to take off and do it myself without any problems. Now, if I had any questions, obviously I asked, but then I eventually had it down from there. Cosmo puts again. Last pack, and then we're going back to the Dollar Tree pack, guys. Code card. One, two, three, four. What was your guy's favorite subject, or what subject were you even good at? What did you excel in? What did you struggle with? For me, I struggled with literature. Literature, I was horrible. Ooh, the first was research, holographic. That's the second time we pulled that ever. But nevertheless, it is a very nice card. Sleeve that up and put that aside. Anyways, let's get to these Dollar Tree packs. I still have some Dollar Tree packs in this box. So, that is a Lost Thunder pack. We are not opening that. So, we are still missing some more Dollar Tree packs from this box. I do apologize. Let's get into these real quick. My little Punita in reverse Rhydon. Next pack. Krabby, Sea King, and Sino. Krogunk. Galarian Meow. Diglett, Team Yoke Grunt, Scorpy. Five more packs for this box. For realsies this time. And then we're done. And then we can get into that other box. Hyper Potion, Goldeen. Marwa, Energy, a reverse hashtag Grookey Gang. Over here. Glaring Mouth, Stunfist, Score Bunny. I don't think we pulled a Sobble yet. Chin Chow. There's a Drizzle, but that is not a Sobble. I'm missing Holographic Inteleon. So if I could pull that rare, that would be amazing. It. That was the last pack for that box. Let's get the last of these packs out. A huge stack. 60 packs to be exact. Making sure I grab all of them this time. And let's just jump right into it. Silly Cobra. Blip bug, blip bug. And this pack was already open. Again. I hope no one tampered with this one. Ordinary Rod and a Ghastly. Still waiting for a Hyper Rare or a Gold card. Don't get me wrong, we've pulled amazing cards so far. Like, beyond belief. Joltik. Salazzle. Was that Salazzle or Salad then, guys? I keep forgetting and I keep confusing the evolutions. Pikachu. Uh, I'm next time I'm gonna look. I'm pretty sure I'm mixing both evolution lines up. I'm pretty sure the first one. Ooh, yes, yes, yes. The helium V, guys. It is a V card we were missing. Let me sleeve that up, set that aside, and we will be adding that to the binder. Next pack. Ulu, ooh, reverse Ponyard. Interesting. Now, when I say trying to complete the set, I am trying to pull one of each card. Reverses included. So, the more reverses I could pull. Ooh, there's Sobble. Hashtag Sobble Gang. If you're part of that. But the original is hashtag Grookey Gang. But let me know, who's your favorite starter from the Galarian region? 
once I get a switch, I'm obviously going to either start with A, Grookey, or B, Score Bunny. Sobble, he really doesn't catch my attention, and his evolution line, don't get me wrong, he looks incredible, but I don't think he's a good matchup for the game. Maybe if they changed his stats around a little bit, made him a fast, strong attacker, I might have chosen him, but I just don't see it. I do apologize for everyone that likes Sobble. Again, I do love him as a Pokemon. But as a starter, I don't think I would be choosing him. Score Bunny, I would choose because of the, again, I've mentioned this before in previous videos, but the animation for Pyro Ball, um, his final evolution, uh, Cinderace, I think it was. Cinderace, yes. For Pyro Ball, when you use the attack, he dribbles the fireball like a soccer ball and then kicks it as hard as he can to the opponent. And I just think that animation looks incredible. That's why I like that. And then Rillaboom, he's just strong. And he plays the drum. I love that animation when he like plays the drum. I don't know what tack that is, but I think it looks pretty funny. That's why I like it. Rhyhorn. Set that aside. And we're back. I apologize. The camera died off on us. <laughs> Next pack. Rookie D, Hammer, and a Reverse Hoot Hoot. stack is getting huge you could actually see it in frame now that is the stack of cards guys of commons and uncommons and regular rares crabby switch oh yes indeedy v guys this was another one we were missing yes oh my god oh my gosh guys i am extremely happy with that one now if we could pull a nine tails. <laughs> Hashtag Grookey Gang. Who was that? Uh knockdown. Regular rare. I just really want to pull a nine tails. Or a Porco V or a Victini V. Celebi V would be very nice as well. Preferably I think I want to aim for a Celebi V. Celebi V for an ultra rare. Our next ultra rare. Our next full art. I want a Torco V. And our next hyper rare, I want Team Yelgrums. And then our gold card, I want Zamazenta. I think those are the cards we're focusing on now. So regular rare, we want Ninetales. Holographic, Hollow Inteleon. Ultra Rare V, Celebi V. Full Art, Torkoal V. Hyper rare, Team Yelgrums. Gold card, Zamazenta V. We got that. We got that. Ooh. Sinister. Reverse. This pack is being difficult. But that is okay. Because I opened it. Hop. As an empty pack. Boop. There's a huge pile of plastic next to me, guys. Boop, set that aside. Onto the pile. Wulu, shelter. Also, guys, let me know if you enjoy insane, crazy videos like this that are, like, I think a bit too long. Blip bug, blip bug. But I do enjoy making them because I get to open this many packs with y'all. And the pools are amazing. But if you don't enjoy long videos, do let me know down in the comments. I'm willing to make this shorter. And in two parts, if you guys want me to. If not, then I'll just keep doing these extremely... Ooh, that is a bead reverse. Extremely long videos with a lot of packs. Of course, the parts would be broke that would be broken up are still going to have a lot of packs. But it'll just take longer for you guys to wait to see the next episode. Whereas you could just watch one whole video straight. I think that's more... 
convenient instead of waiting and building that suspense like oh what is he gonna get next a frost moth holographic that's what he's gonna get next but no but for real i don't like building that suspense i just want to go straight charge right into it and show you what i get because i'm too excited to wait to make another video i want to go right into it and see what i get a goldie i got a goldie interesting i want to say i'm like a third of the way through these packs the Dollar Tree packs that is it feels like I haven't met a dent into these if we've opened I want to say a good bit energy Gossa Flora watch I say that now but when I get to the end I'll be like wow that was fast such a hypocrite I contradict myself Shelter. I need a gold or a hyper rare or a Victini V or all the other cards. Stone Joner V that I named earlier. Ooh, reverse Pokemon Center Lady. We already have that, but nevertheless, it's an amazing card. Hashtag Grookey Gang, Water, Clobopus. This pack was already open. Please don't be tampered with. Sad, sad, subble. Rhyhorn. It might have been tampered with. The world may never know. Like these last few packs, they feel like they're not even sealed. Slazzle, energy switch, a Rilla boom. Regular rare. Yeah, they feel like they're easy to get into. I really hope these aren't the weight packs. Nope, Jolteon. Reverse Hollow. These are a lot easier to open than the others for some odd reason. Roselia, regular. Yeah, I'm getting into these packs a lot easier. I think I might check the next one. Ooh, Rhyperior Holographic. To see if someone resealed these, because I am a bit concerned. Yeah, look at that, guys. Like, it looks like they didn't even try to. Like, it's perfectly open. Like, I could easily slide the cards out like that. I feel like these cards might have been tampered with. A reverse hoo-hoo, but I'm still pulling reverses. I'm still pulling hollows. Like this one, again. Very easy to get into. Reverse Blackie. Interesting. I'm not even going to rip the pack open since they open easily. I'm just going to pull the cards out. Cincino. That was one that we were missing for a while that we finally pulled. Krabby. Reverse. So we're pulling reverses and we pulled one hollow out of all these packs that are easier to open. But can we pull something better? Yamper. He's a good prepper, but he is not what we're looking for. See how easily I'm opening that? Like, it shouldn't be like that. I feel like these packs... Again. Why is that? Ooh, that is a holographic orangaroo. Again, so we are pulling holographics. But we are not pulling anything above that. Just yet. I'm not counting my chickens until they all hatch. If you know where that saying is from. I don't know. But I know it's an old saying. Don't count your chickens before they all hatch. And in this situation. Don't suspect anything until you open all the packs. Even if your suspicion is growing stronger and stronger. I know I should probably stop opening these. More Peko Reverse Rare. I know we are missing that one, so I will set that aside. Even though your suspicions are growing bigger and bigger, because you haven't pulled an Ultra Rare from these packs that are easy to open. Energy Switch Reverse. 
Not energy, just the switch reverse. Yamper, Stunfist, and a Raichu. Look how far that stack's climbing, guys. Again, opening these packs like butter. It shouldn't be like that. Scorpy, Ru Rookadi, and Clavopus. I'm coming down. Last five packs. Wow. See, it feels like that was pretty fast. Again, like I said, contradicting myself. Ooh, Tapu Coco. Welcome to the party. Yes, Tapu Coco V, guys. Another one we were missing. And we could add that to the binder. Awesome. Awesome, 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 awesome. I'm sorry. I'm very excited. But at least now I know these packs weren't tampered with. Because we pulled a Tapu Coco V. We haven't pulled a gold card yet or a hyper rare. Interesting enough. But again, I feel like some packs were bought, of course. And they probably bought the better pull ends. Nevertheless, we still got incredible pulls like full arts, V maxes, all that fun stuff. So at the end of the day, I think we still did incredible. We got a lot of these. We got a lot of hollow rares. Last pack, guys. Can we get last pack match? Gold card. Reverse Wulu. It's not a gold card, but that is okay. We are down to the last of the blister pack, guys. Again, guys, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you want to see next on the channel. And if you have any ideas for any future videos, I'd love to hear them. Otherwise, I'll just keep opening Pokemon cards until I complete a set. Hopefully this set. Citrus Berry, Quillfish, Energy, Silly Cobra, Mincino, Vulpix, Reverse is Galarian Zigzagoon, and the rare... Breathe. I stopped breathing for a second. Hyper rare. Team Yelp grunts. Has been pulled. I'm. I'm trembling. Next pack. Next pack. That was... That was a good pack. Okay. Sojourner, V, that is okay. We needed that. We definitely needed that. Get my mind back into this. We're still opening Pokemon cards. I'm still talking to you guys. I, that just happened. That, that just, that just happened. Double, scissor piece, nah. Copper jar. Holographic. Very nice. Very nice. Let me sleeve that up real quick. Boop. Add that to the pile. And let's get into the next one. Next pack. Code card. Two, three, four. Water. Because I am very thirsty. My drink is still up there. And I am just thinking about consuming it. Snorlax V, let's go. 
Again, we already have this, but it is a V car, an ultra rare. One of my favorite artworks from this set. And we got it. We need a Celebi V still, a Nine Tails regular rare, Inteleon holographic. Full art, we want Torkoal or a Zamazenta. Hyper rares, I guess we could go for Lapras regular rare. Hyper rares, we could go for. I don't know. I don't know what else I want from the hyper rares. I guess a professor's research. Let's go for that. Professor's research. Hyper rare. And then gold, obviously, Zamazen to V. We want a Zamazen to V. I know that quick ball is amazing, but I want the two dogs and I want a Zamazen to V. Bike, Diglett, Scorpy, Hoot Hoot, Ulu, Roserade. Wow, twice. Wow, after missing it for so long, we finally pulled one. This is the last pack. This is the last pack. Anyways, guys, thank you for joining me today. Watching all the way through. Remember, if you've lasted this long, you know what to drop in the comments. And for the last one, let's say water. Even though I haven't been playing this whole time. Can we get some last pack magic? What is that? Ooh, Inteleon Reverse. Nice. And the rare Cramorant V. Very nice. We will take that. It is a V card. It is an ultra rare. And it is some last pack magic. Anyways, guys. Let's go over what we got today. So today we got a Carper Jaw V, not V, holographic, Orgo, Orguro holographic, Rhyperior holographic, Frostmoth holographic, Professor's Research holographic, Gengar, twice, Holo, Cinderace holographic, and then our V, our very miscut Lapras V, Tapu Koko V, very nice, Indizi V, the Helium V, Wobbuffet V, we got Sableye twice, Stone Joiner, Cramorant twice, Snorlax twice, very nice, love that card, Lapras VMAX guys, very nice card, Snorlax full art, very awesome card, Wobbuffet full art, Bead full art. And the best card of today is Hyper Rare Team Yelp Grunts, guys. Look at how amazing the artwork. I'm so glad we pulled that. Anyways, guys, thank you for joining me. As always, as I mentioned before, like, comment, subscribe. Leave a comment down below. You know what to comment. And I'll see you in the next one. As always, have an outstanding day and peace out. Whoosh.